so you see in this problem we are given a hydraulic rate and it is lifting a lot uh, that is is equal to 1400 lb and you see we have to find the force in the hydraulic cylinder ab and the force in links ac and ad uh, so according to statement uh, a load of about 1400 lb is acting vertically downward because uh, the hydraulic crane is lifting it and uh, you see basically the mass acts vertically downward uh, due to force of gravity and uh, you see uh, these are the forces that are acting on the arm of the cylinder uh, crane and this is the uh, you see these are the forces that are acting so uh, let's take this part, uh, this part to find the uh, force in the link C. So you see, I can apply movement at point B. Okay. Uh, but you see, there's a point that you see we are given uh, seven angles. You see that this is about 70 degree. Uh, this is about 120. This is 30. But uh, if we see, the links, you see, it's make a equilateral triangle, and we know that equilateral triangle has an angle of about 60 degree. So, uh, if I apply movement at point B, then I get a equation which says that I have a force in link C, and I have its vertical component sign and an angle 60 because it is it makes an equilateral triangle. And I have a perpendicular distance of about one meters, uh, one feet, which is this uh, distance. And you see, uh, basically, I am using its vertical component. So uh, it is moving in anti clockwise direction, you see. And you see, I have a 1400 LP mass that is acting vertically downward. And I have a perpendicular distance of this eight feet. And you see this moving clockwise direction, so it is negative. And when I solve this, then I get the force in link C, uh, which is uh, 12932.65 LB, or you can write in 12.9 uh, Ki B form. So let's move to the next part. So you see this part and this part. But first, I am going to find. Uh, the force in the center area by using this part. Uh, you see these are uh, the forces. Okay, so uh, if I took a look at this part, you see uh, I can apply a uh, wire component to find the force in the cylinder A, B. So uh, when I apply, I get Force in cell uh, link C A, which is uh one two nine three two point six seven with uh with vertical component and angle sixty, and I have negative force in the cylinder A B, and I have a uh, is vertical component sign at this angle seventy. So I when I solve this, I get force in the cylinder A B. Uh, which is about 1198 uh, 918.79 LP. You see now, uh, 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 we can find the force in this link uh, AD by using uh, this part of the, of the brain. So we can uh, use for X component to find the force in the link AD. So you see when I uh, use the X number, so I get negative uh, 11918.79 force, uh, weight horizontal force and angle 70, which is this angle. So you see this is about the force in the center AB. And plus I have 12932.67 and it's for the component force and angle 60, this will see uh, this is the angle of a greater triangle, and this force is basically the force 
the link is an active i have post ad so it was acting because it is acting in the opposite x direction so when i solve this i get was uh in the link ad which says that uh, i have two three eight nine point eight six lb or two point three nine ki 